UPS semi truck crashed on the Indiana toll road and burst into flames. Then it got wedged between the east and the westbound bridges, halting traffic for hours. Shockingly, the driver only suffered minor injuries. Good Friday morning, everyone. I'm Patrick Elwood. And I'm Dina Bear. Thank you for joining us. WGN's Eric Rung is live near the scene of that accident in Hammond with the latest on the investigation. Eric? Well, good morning. Crews have been working for several hours now trying to get this crash cleaned up. I'm going to step out of the way here. Crews were able to get the trailer up onto the uh, roadway up there, but they are still having some trouble with the cab. They're still trying to figure out how to get that out of the water. Another thing that crews were really trying to figure out is how this driver survived. It's a miracle, it really is. Wedged between the west and eastbound lanes of Interstate 90 in Indiana, a UPS truck hangs vertically, its cab in the water. When rescue teams got here, they couldn't find the driver. We searched the cab, couldn't find the driver, locate anyone. We searched the water, we're sweeping the water. He finally made a little bit of a little bit of a yell, got our attention, and we were able to carry him to safety. He was hanging on to the concrete bridge support near the second pillar. He was disoriented with bumps and bruises, but otherwise okay. The truck was going westbound. Indiana State Police is leading the investigation. Right now, I do not know the circumstances behind what led up to the crash. Traffic was stopped completely going westbound. One lane was open eastbound as emergency workers brought in a crane to try and get the semi moved. The crane is going to try to lift the, lift the semi straight out. It's going to take a little time. It didn't go exactly as planned. The crane operator was able to pull the trailer out, but now emergency crews are working on a plan to get the cab out of the water. And emergency crews are still working on that plan. A short time ago, the crane actually did get the cab out of the water once again, but then something broke and it crashed back into the water. Again, this is still going to take a lot more time before this crash is cleaned up. We're live in East Chicago. I'm Eric Rung, WGN News. Wow, thank you, Eric.